Is Have y'all seen what was going on with Will Smith and uh, uh, Martin Lawrence or Martin Lawrence? You know what I'm saying? Will Smith kind of bringing out Martin Lawrence in order to help him out or whatever like that. No, I see they got I a new new bad boys coming out. I know that, but that's besides that, no. Y'all haven't seen the, the clip where he was basically bringing, uh, you know, bringing Martin out and all of that. It's kind of went viral. What do you mean no. by bringing him out? Like he gay? I I got to pull it up. Give me a second. No, not like he gay. But he said bringing him uh, out. I was like, what does that mean? Like he, you'll see, you'll see. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to find it and pull it up for y'all. I seen um, the clip of Will Smith, man, when he was showing like some behind the scenes uh, work. That shit looked amazing. This dude had a camera. He was turning it and had the gun. That shit looks raw as fuck. That's going to yeah. be a nice scene. I'm going to see if I can pull it up. Um, let me see. Oh, they say the dream trafficking too? What? Yeah, they're going to say a whole bunch of stuff in order to get people to say some of the most negative stuff about him and stuff like that. Let me see if I can pull it up. For Comedy Hype News, I'm Symphony Thompson. As Will Smith and Martin Lawrence continue coverage all over the world for Bad Boys Ride or Die, the fourth film in the beloved franchise, concerns over Martin's health continues to grow as well. Fans have- When, they, when he's basically, Will Smith kind of walks him out, you know what I'm saying, and introduces him or whatever like that. Um, Comedy Hype News, see it right here. I'm Symphony Thompson. As Will Smith and Martin Lawrence continue coverage all over the world for- And then he kind of like keep his hand like together or whatever like that because they saying that Martin had a stroke some years ago um, and he's still kind of having health problems or whatever like that. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, that's sad, man. Y'all didn't know that, um, y'all didn't know that Martin had- a stroke some years ago. Mm -hmm. I know he was um he he had, um remember when he was talking about how he had, um uh he had lost his mind a little bit, but I didn't know he had no stroke. Yeah, they say that He's... Martin Lawrence had had a stroke a while ago, bro, and that basically he had a lot of health concerns. Like if you hear him talking and stuff like that, he talk a little slower. Um, you know his they, hand is a Fox, little weirder. Fox had something like that too. They tried to keep his undercover, didn't he? I don't Who? know what Jamie Foxx is, that's what Jamie but I know that Foxx was there like four was months or something. Man, I don't know what's going on with Jamie Foxx. I just know he ain't got that tattoo on the back of his head no more. That huh? shit weird. Yeah, yeah, when I seen him in the commercial, that last commercial I saw him in, he did not have that tattoo on the back of his head. As Will Smith yeah, and Will is like, oh yeah, he out. definitely ushering oh, him out. Yeah, yeah. That's sad. And then the hand don't move; it just stay like that. Yeah, that's a real nigga. Yeah, yeah, Will, Will a real one, bro. Listen, no matter yeah. what the fuck happened to Will, no matter what is how he is or why they try to portray him or what happened with his chick, nobody yeah. could ever make me hate Will, bro. Nope. Nobody can ever make me turn a turn on Will or have anything negative to say about Will. I know they tried to kill his career. And they tried to throw him under the bus and he had a bunch of junk going on and all of that. Nobody could ever make me hate Will because Will has always seemed like he's been a real one. Because really what's happening, it seemed like Will is just making sure that Martin is stay on and that he keep money in his pocket and all of that. That's what it seemed like, bro. Because Will is carrying the franchise, but he, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, he making sure Martin eat, bro. And that's his homie, you know what I'm saying? And, and so... I just got, I got so much love for Will, bro. I will never, ever say, I will never, ever have anything negative to say about Will, bro. It's just like, he just seemed like one of the realest ones um, ever, bro. Hmm. So, they say that they, he was on Nightcap with Martin Lawrence. Uh, I mean, with uh, Shannon. How old, is, how old is he? I don't really? know. How old is who? Martin or Will? I guess I, I, guess I can Google. I think uh, Martin Lawrence is older. He 59. God damn, these niggas is getting old. Shit. Yeah, bro. <laughs> our, all our heroes is... is... It's getting old as fuck. <laughs> Will is only 55, so Will's still popping. He, 55 ain't old. Nah, they, we, they all getting at, old, bro. When you start looking at 60, <laughs> that's when it... They are, they are all getting old, man. Yup. Honestly, that's it's wild. like all that's... of our heroes are starting to get old. They're aging out. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
You got to start giving people their flowers while they're here. Or it's going to be over, bro. Sooner than later, it's going to... You're going to start seeing a lot of people fall off. Like, a lot of people probably... Not saying them, Martin, or, or anything like that, but... Break, breaking news. So-and-so and so-and-so. Yeah, you're going to start yeah. seeing a lot of that shit, bro. Because a lot of our heroes and a lot of the people that we used to rock with is aged out. Yeah. Hey guys, let me ask you a question. There's Go been a 30-year between the first bad boys as due to evolve what's the Look biggest difference Martin, will you first and then martin between the first bad boys and bad boy four ride or die i guess the biggest difference is we ain't no shit when we just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, yo, hey, yo, man listen we ain't know nothing uh on that first movie man we were out there we were both coming off of our tv shows Right, and Michael Bay, me and Martin were coming out, and like we were literally making this stuff up every day, you know. So it, it was like I would say the big thing um, that between the first one and this one was like the precision of what we were doing when we stepped out there. Like we we knew what we wanted and we knew how to get it. Let me ask you this, Ocho and I, we are similarities that you biggest differences. Uh, let me, see, I got. You. We'll be carrying this shit, bro. Yeah, that nigga Martin is. Used to, yeah, you can look Lord back. Martin like talk a lot. Almost, man. Damn. Yeah, Martin used to talk all the time. You can, he, yeah, he's you know, like, yeah, Marty Ma is really calm. Yeah, he no. is. <laughs> yeah, Marty Ma is, he is. <laughs> yeah, you know, and he just, you know, he's trying to keep it, keep it easy. And like, I'm the friend that makes sure we get in trouble. We're, we're, <laughs> we're, we're hyper. He's, <laughs> he has a lot of energy, you know, but, but fun energy, you know. Right. Good energy. Yeah. And there's a lot of respect with us. Yeah, for know? sure. A lot of love and respect. And I learned. Yeah. yeah man. You know. Oh, man. Like, what does a stroke do to you? Like, is it a brain thing? Or like, what, I, guess I have no thing. idea, mm -hmm. bro. Yeah, it's a brain thing because, well, my grandfather had one. Um, he couldn't walk anymore. Like, so it affect, mm. if it affects the, the a certain side of your brain, like, it takes away your mobility. And sometimes, it, it uh, and if it affects the other side of your brain, it might take away your speech. So mm. it depends on which side of the brain that it hit, you know. So like, Ooh. that's why he, that's why he, that arm, you know, we got better technology now. So like, and he has, he gonna have the best doctors in the world. So my grandfather, he couldn't move his right arm at all. So it was stuck. It would always stay like this, clenched up. That's why you see Martin like this, and I'm holding his hand. So like. It's it's gonna be it's still they they got ways where they they got better technology now but man like if that hit the hit the wrong side of your brain you don't ever talk again they might they might have, they might have technology for that but yeah bro it's, it's I it's seen crucial. um uh, I seen when Cam Cam and Mace did an interview with Floyd Mayweather right um on it is mm -hmm. what it is on a show or whatever and I was kind of listening to it and skimming through it because I like to listen to Cam and Mace because they funny. And uh, they asked Floyd about, you know, why he had replaced his uncle and then his father as his trainers and stuff like that. And he was just saying that, yo, they losing a, you know what I'm saying, a function. Faculties? Yeah. And he was just kind of like, you know, mm. they need, you know, hiring full-time caregivers for them or whatever. And he said that sometimes he don't even feel 100% right. And he said he stay on top of it and he try to you know, do stuff and do puzzles and all of that type of stuff. And you got to remember, Floyd is one of those fighters that he never got hit like that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm he, well, he wasn't a fighter that took a lot of punishment, but he was just saying that it was kind of sad to hear, and nobody is actually talking about it. He was kind of mentioning that, yo, you know, sometimes he don't even feel 100% right. And I was like, damn, that's kind of tripped out to hear, bro, like, it really make me focus, bro. Like I'm changing every, right now at 42 years old. I've, I've literally remixed everything, bro. Like if I show you my refrigerator, it ain't nothing but water. You know what I'm saying? I got some watermelon in there and, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like seriously, bro. Like I'm literally changing everything, man. Cause that shit would be sad that you wouldn't be able to actually enjoy your life because you then have to make sacrifices based off of health concerns. So mm -hmm. everything that I do, bro, first thing I do when I get up in the morning at 6 a.m., about 5.45, 6 a.m., I just hit straight down to the gym, bro. Damn. I don't blame you.
Yeah, I heard Floyd kind of mention that, and that shit just kind of made me sad, bro. It's all in the food. So. Got to watch what we eat. Definitely. Got to stay in the fruits. Got to stay on the veggies. Yeah. It ain't even about being like super built or no shit like that. Like if that come along with it over time, cool. That shit is about survival. It's about Mm -hmm. keeping your faculties, making sure that Mm -hmm. you age gracefully. That's why that's why I'll be on Quentin. Rita be on Quentin hard. She like, Anton, make sure you check on Quentin, make sure that he's going taking care of and doing what he's supposed to do. Cause man, I I ain't trying to um that's another reason why I don't get caught up in the bullshit. Like I ain't about to be arguing with niggas and going hard and junk like that. Man, I don't give a fuck. I'm trying to live life and enjoy life. I ain't about to raise my Facts. blood pressure. I'm chilling, Facts. bro. I'm in a good space. I'm chilling. I'm slow motion. I ain't I ain't I ain't on none of that, bro. We got it. <laughs> it's funny. We was trying to survive the hood, and now we trying to make sure that we age gracefully. So Man. I learned from Kev. I seen Kev go. I seen a lot of people not make it, bro. But now I, I want to. I want to make sure that I, you know, what I'm saying that we doing all right. You know what I'm saying? So I just be kind of chilling, man. I ain't. I ain't on none of that smoke junk. I'm gonna say what I gotta say, and I don't give a fuck what nobody talking about after that. Yeah, I know that you don't <laughs> be fucking with other folks' panels as much. Nope. For I don't what? blame you. I, For what? I got my own. I got my own dogs. I hit. You, I hit you up. I hit Quentin up. I hit Two K up. I hit Mika up. I got Q. I got my own friends. I don't need nobody, bro. I never man, that felt shit like add I needed extra these stress. niggas, bro. That should add extra stress, man. Like they be going back and forth with each other, beefing and shit. Man, I ain't on that, bro. Yeah, they can it have ain't worth shit. it. It ain't worth it, man. I'd you end up in a vicious down, cycle. Throw that music up and be chilling, bro. Yeah, I don't blame play, you. Play the, play the same one song on repeat over here. Throw it on, <laughs> yep. I sure do. <laughs> Usually, I just throw on Nipsey Hustle and throw that shit on self, uh, Shuffle. And then uh, just rock out, bro. I be chilling, man. I ain't trying to get in. The, I don't care nothing about these niggas. I don't, Because I don't see nobody in real life. You know what I'm saying? Like every all mm. of the people I see, all of the people I see in real life, um, it's all love. It's a hundred percent love. I get no smoke in real life, bro. I run into people, they be like, oh man, what up, man? Whatever, blah, blah, blah. Man, we be having a good time, bro. So I wish everybody the best, but I'm chilling, bro. I ain't on none of that. Hmm. I don't blame you. Yeah, stress is a that's a they'll kill you, hundred percent. I ain't, but and, and but for what though? Because I'm gonna just tell you when you go, ain't nobody gonna be checking for you. Nope. Like ain't, no, ain't nobody gonna come back and be like, yo, what's up? You know what I'm saying? How's everybody doing? You know what happened to Anton? Man, don't nobody be going to checking for Kevin Samuels. Ain't nobody calling his mom. I stay in touch with his mom. I stay in touch with his daughter. You know what I'm saying? I'll be kicking it. And I'm not, this ain't no diss to nobody because I, you know, I fuck with everybody. But I'm just saying, like, the general public, they're not, they forgot and they moved on. No matter how mm-hmm. big you are, no matter how significant you are, people move on with their lives and they find something else to attach to and they rock out with it. I'm going to read that super chat shortly. I, I rock with y'all. But ain't nobody really checking for that shit. Ain't nobody trying to find out. It was news for the moment because everybody made money off of it. But. Niggas, niggas move on with their life, bro. They ain't checking for you. So you make your mark while you're here, and then you make sure that you take care of yourself. Because ain't nobody going to come and take care of you, bro. Ain't nobody going to be checking for you. Ain't nobody going to be bad. calling your, your wife. Ain't nobody going to be checking on your kids to make sure that they good. You got to take care of you, bro. Yeah. 